In part 5, we combine the Spring Authorization Server and the Spring Resource Server along with a Spring OAuth client and a Spring Cloud Gateway. We build on the code from the previous part. The link can be found in the upper right corner. We start in Eclipse with the new Spring project, Spring OAuth Client. We have the following dependencies. Spring Boot Starter OAuth 2 Client and Spring Cloud Starter Gateway. The main class is a standard Spring class. And all configuration is in the application properties. Server Port 8080 Spring Application Name Cloud Gateway Default Filter Token Relay This filter converts the browser cookie to the access token and vice versa. We have one route to the Spring Resource Server. The second part of the configuration is the client registration for the Spring Authorization Server. Provider Client ID Client Secret Scopes Authorization Grant Type Client Authorization Method Redirect URI and the URL of the Authorization Server The code of the Spring Authorization Server was changed in only one place. In the Application Properties file, we need to change the Redirect URL to the Redirect URL of the Spring OAuth Client. In the Spring Resource Server, there are minor changes to the Service and Controller class. In the home service class the hello method has been removed and in the home controller we return only the text hello. All other code is the same from the previous video. We can now launch the three projects and test them in a browser window. In the browser window, we open 127.0.0.1 with port 8080. And path user. We get to see the custom login screen from the previous video. We can now log in with admin and password. And get to see the expected pages. Thanks for continuing to follow our channel and don't forget to subscribe.